Hello, N4H&H here with the Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP. Um, those of you who have had uh, this radio for quite some time probably know uh, what I'm about to show, but uh, just in case, and for those who might be new to the rig, um, I, I shot a video a while back about uh, well, a few week or so ago, maybe about some of the you know negatives. Well, you're hard pressed really with this radio to find a negative. Um, so in that video, I just mentioned how I thought that the uh, uh, how you how you work with the memory channels was less than intuitive. Okay, here's a here's a slightly better but still a little bit less than intuitive aspect of the radio, and it is similar. Um, so let me show you what I'm getting at. Um, so, quick review of the video about the memory. So you access memories by pressing the V slash M button. And then you've got memory banks. So, for example, I'm going to hold down the clarifier group button. Long press. Turns yellow. And I'm going to move up to bank uh, U5, which comes in the radio. That one, Yesu uh, pre-programs all of the 60 meter channels for us. So U5, if I want U5, then I long press the middle button here above the, uh, above the uh, uh, clarifier VFO knob until it goes yellow. And now I'm cycling through my 60 meter channels that Yesu pre-programmed in there. Okay, but I have added some other memory banks to this rig. Um, so let me get back over here to the group button. And so I have a group for example here for 10 meters. I'm going to long press now to get back into the mode where I can cycle through the memories. Again, that's part of the thing that I think is not very intuitive is learning how to cycle, uh, to switch between groups and then cycle through the memories. Okay, but I've pro pro programmed into this group uh, my 10 meter frequencies. There's the FM simplex and when I say 10 meter, my 10 meter FM frequencies, FM simplex, and then there's a repeater, a repeater, a repeater, and a repeater. Now, actually, also, while I was at it, I went ahead and added six meters in there, too, um, on that particular bank. Now, I'm going to get off the bank, though. I want to show you um, how you get the, um, six, uh, the, uh, the FM um, repeaters dialed in. So I'm back over in VFO mode on 10 meter band using the band key here. Um, and you know, it's got triple band stacking. So for example, I'll go to 40 meters a second here. There's one frequency and mode, whatever, you know, and you set those and it just, wherever you leave it, you know, if I move it there, next time I cycle through, it'll be right back there. So you can have three different frequencies and modes um, that you can just cycle through by pressing the band uh, key here. Okay, again, it's called triple band um, stacking. It's triple stacking on the, with the band keys. All right, so I'm, I'm going to do the same thing with my 10 meter button here. And there's 28.400, 29600 FM simplex, and then there's a, a CW frequency. So it's really convenient being able to have three different frequencies and modes uh, available just by cycling through the band switch. So let's say I'm not going to switch over to the memories. A friend calls, hey, 10 meters is open. I could quickly go to, uh, say they say 10 meter FM. I'll go to 29.6 and I'm ready to go because I've, I've got that left over from the last time I was in here. But let's say I want to go work one of the repeaters and I do not have any repeaters programmed into a memory channel. Well, of course you can just move the VFO and here's the first repeater is on 620. There's 620, 640, 660, and 680. But I need an offset for the repeaters and I need a tone. This is where you got to, you know, read the manual, uh, but here's, here's how it works. Again, nitpicking here. This is a great radio. I'm, I'm just saying the memory management is a little bit less intuitive than maybe with some rigs, and what I'm about to show you might be considered a little bit less intuitive. Let me, let me squelch up this noise. Here we go. All right, so... If I want to be able to transmit on um, the offset for uh, the 10 meter repeaters, I need I need a minus offset. 
you simply press and hold the AM slash FM button. I'm in FM mode, so I, since I'm in FM mode, I just long press. And look down here, you'll see it says simplex, off, and 100. So now you see it times out, so you gotta be quick about it. I'm gonna long press, and once you long press, if you tap it, you get a plus offset, you tap it again, you get a minus offset, you tap it again, you get simplex. So you just gotta, rem it, it looks like you rotate a knob like you do for these, but you don't. You, you actually, this knob has no effect on that. You have to tap this, oh, long press. You have to tap it and cycle through. So if I wanna do a repeater here, then I'm gonna tap and go to a minus offset. Now the repeater may need a tone, and they usually do. So I'm gonna slightly turn, just turn that knob one click to the right, tone in code. And then here, again, it times out. Long, uh, long press to get back in. So here you set your, uh, your frequency f for the tone encode. And that's all there is to it. Now what's the frequency indicator when I transmit? Oh, I'm in AM. There we go. So get into the dummy load there. So transmitting on 29520 and the little letter T at the end there means I am transmitting a tone. So it is indeed working. So if I want to go to another repeater, I'll just change the VFO here to the next one up, 29640. And again, uh, there's my offset and there's my tone. To get back to simplex, well, all right, the simplex calling frequency here, 29600. And I'll just reverse this. Long press the FM button, tap it again to simplex. Rotate this knob to the left one click and I've now turned off the tone and again It'll just time out and store that setting and now watch the ind indicator or the the frequency see now I'm simplex not changing frequency and no tone is being encoded So I just wanted to uh, cover that other little aspect of I'm not saying it's a negative But it, you got to remember that you long press this button and while these two settings can be changed with the knob this one you have to uh, long press. You have to tap for plus, tap for minus, tap, and it just cycles through them. Similar to your band stacking, if you think about it. Okay, so um, well, I hope uh, someone finds this video helpful and informative. And thanks for watching. This is N4HNH saying 73.